my beautiful friend. Today we're heading over to my desktop so I can show you how to hide a pin within a blog post with the new WordPress editor. It's a little different now, so let's dive in. Hey, welcome to my WordPress dashboard. I am in the post that I want to add, to add the pins to. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, you can see that I have this HTML code. But I want to add multiple pins to this post. With this new block editor in WordPress, this is a little different. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click to add a block. You're going to add an image block. Upload my pin that I've created. I use Canva to create my pins. I've already put one in, so I'm going to choose two. I have five pins created just for this one post. And this is a great way to get your, your post pinned more because different people can choose different styles. And these will come up, as I will show you, as pin options when people click your Pinterest share button. So we can see right here that it is in as an image. Now, if we leave this like this and we go to preview the post, if we scroll down, we can see that that pin is right here. And we don't want that. This looks kind of odd at the bottom of your post to have this big, big pin image. So we want to hide this. But with this new editor, it's a little different than the old editor. So what we're going to do is we're going to click these three dots here, and we're going to edit as HTML. And you can see by the pin that I've already hidden down here, here is the code. And I will include this code for you in the description so you have it. What we're going to do, I hit the space bar, and then click her back so that I don't cover up anything by mistake. So if you do that one time, that really helps. And then we're just going to pay, copy and paste that first code, this Divi style. You see it says display none. And then you want this little code here at the end, this code here. Now you can see that I'm getting an error because it's saying it has invalid content. That's because we put the front one in and not the other one in. So I'm just going to click convert to HTML and finish this code here again I hit spacebar once so I don't cover up anything and then we're going to just check and make sure this is correct and what this is going to do is hide your pin within the post where it cannot be seen now I already knew how to do this in the old editor but when I was trying this in this new editor it was not working for me I was copying and pasting the code and it wasn't working so in case you run into that problem you may want to check if the issue with mine was these, these quotation marks right here were the curved kind instead of the straight kind. Whoever had created the code had a different font. So if you're having problems, you may want to retype the quotation marks on your keyboard to make sure they're the straight version. When you're finished with that, you're going to hit the update. You're going to go to preview, and we're going to scroll down to the bottom and see if this worked. As you can see, we now just have my signature. There are no pins showing, but we want to test and make sure that the pins are available. I use Sumo Me for my social media sharing buttons, and I'm just going to click on the Pinterest one. You can see the two pins that I've hidden are right here and right here. I have three more pins and I'm just going to go ahead and put those in the same way. Again, we're just going to quickly add a block image. I'm going to upload my pin. There it is. I'm going to click the three dots. I'm going to edit as HTML. I am going to copy and paste code here. Again, it's going to tell me that there's an error, but it's just not patient enough, so we're going to click Convert to HTML again. It's done. The pen should be hidden. This is a little more of a challenge with the new editor than the old editor, but it still can be done pretty easily once you get the hang of it. We're going to update and do this for each of our pens. You can see none of the pins are down here. Let's hit that Pinterest share button and we see that all five of the pins I created for this post are now available. If you found this tutorial helpful, the thumbs up button and I'll see you next time.